taking personal risk in doing this. We're all here for one reason and one reason only. A lot to think about, a lot of moving parts and pieces. Since I can't remember, I'm the kind of person I take gambles. Daniel Suarez, he will be driving next season for the newly formed Trackhouse Racing Team, formed by former driver Justin Marks. Justin Marks has run a little of everything in his driving career. Now he's leasing a charter in NASCAR and starting his own cup team for 2021. Justin Marks is a great businessman. He's a great racer. Pitbull being a part owner, it's great to see new owners, new teams coming into our sport that, that we've grown up in and that we love so much. And it'll be interesting to see how competitive they are right out of the gate. I think that a driver that has what it takes to be a, a team owner, he can be extremely, extremely successful because he can understand what it takes to be successful as a, as a team. And honestly, in the beginning, I had a lot of doubts. But then I, I was able to talk to, to Justin that night. I got the vision that he had um, and, uh, and how competitive he wanted this to be and everything that he wanted to do outside the, the racetrack. And I decided to take a gamble. You know, many people told me, Daniel, are you gonna just take a chance again in another new team? I said, well, this is not the same. And I'm uh, just very excited that I got to, to, to take this shot. We just arrived here at RCR. Uh, we're gonna see how the car is doing. Let's go. How you doing? Good morning, bud. Good morning. How you doing? Ready to go? Yeah. What shirt do you have on today? I have a track house already on. Oh, okay. Yeah, underneath this. Here, it's something we can check. I look, I look like a delinquent right yes, now. You do. <laughs> hey, how you doing? So, here's what we're gonna do. This is the biggest Zoom we'll do all year. Pitbull's joining us. We're expecting about 200 people. This is our big coming out party, so there's gonna be lots of questions. As soon as you're done here, we're gonna walk down to the photo studio. Jamie has some shirts for you. Okay. After that, we're gonna go out to the car. I want you to climb in once you get comfortable in the car, and then we'll have you out of here. We want to make this sport uh, as wide as possible. We can do an amazing things together. This is a movement. This is a revolution slash taking a sport and creating a culture. Everything that Justin, Ty, uh, people now uh, want to do outside the racetrack is amazing, and I love all those things. And just, just, just enjoy the ride. Thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye. Bye. I have a lot of things to learn from people for sure. Looking forward to to get to see him in the racetrack now. I just flew in from Nashville. We're getting down to it now. A week, just about a week away from the cars getting on the racetrack, so um, gotta just put some face time in and come see progress and see if I can help anything or mess anything up for them. <laughs> you know, it's, it's there's so, the off season is a few months and everyone just thinks about Daytona, Daytona 500, Daytona, and, and you also have to remember that, you know, we're five, you know, six days later back in the race car on the road course six days after that at Homestead. So we're also thinking into the future too. Well, we're here, and this is, this is always uh, kind of exciting for me because I don't get to go to the shop every day. So we'll see how our Daytona 500 car is and how the pit crew guys are doing and visit with the mechanics and take a look at all the fancy, shiny new stuff that the guys have been building and check it out. We have, we have one thinner than this, right? I think so. I think we'll have to go to that one because I have the same problem with, my, with the brakes. Okay. Try, try to put your, your hand in there. Hello, amigos. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. You ready for 500 miles in that thing? Yeah? Yeah. Thank ready you. to go? <laughs> this stuff is important, just getting, getting all the fit right for Daniel and getting him comfortable in the car. You know, these races are long and physical and you got to maintain focus for such a long period of time that like just being 
perfectly in your spot, having your sight lines be absolutely perfect is super vital. It's gonna be a long weekend. Over the weekend, I was having anxiety, like gotta get so much to do, but then as we get here, it's like everything's coming together. Yeah. Better. Mine just keeps getting higher. <laughs> Push it. How many drivers does it take to pass on that? There you go. There you go. Good. We've been spending months telling people about an idea, yeah. selling an idea, and it'd be nice to really have it be a real thing. It's been nice, eh? You're happy, we're happy. I'm afraid I'm happy. You're smiling. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> now I am. <laughs> Go check out some pit practice. Looks like a lot of guys and we're still short. Needing to help behind the wall. Yeah. With the new rules. I'm gonna have to come off the box. My wife. My wife my was gonna have to help too. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's coming down. There's Mondo down here to catch time. Yeah. <laughs> he would. He'd train for it and everything. When we run the race, you're getting on the track no matter what? Yeah, I mean, we're all going to victory. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay the fines. We'll fight that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, boys. Hey, hey. Uh, 545 right side, 1271 overall. Do that at the racetrack, you're gonna be heroes. Yeah, that's good. Dylan, you need to work on your form. Do I? <laughs> yeah. You gotta turn and smile at the camera. Yeah, I just, I wanna say something too. I mean, I, I, I appreciate y'all, you guys, trusting the track house vision and being a part of this. I mean, starting starting a brand new race team from scratch is, a, is kind of a scary thing. You guys all have a lot of experience. You've been a big team, small teams. And this is just something that, that was a, a dream of mine and a big vision of mine for a number of years. I'm really excited about this journey. Really, really excited. Excited to get to Daytona. You know, Pitbull was gonna come down on Sunday for an hour before the race, but he's so pumped he's gonna come Friday because he wants to just be there all weekend. He wants to meet everybody. And uh, that's just, just one element of, of sort of the excitement around this team. We're kind of like what a lot of people are talking about right now, and I know we got a huge, huge opportunity in front of us. So thank you, appreciate it. Hey, great work, fellas. Break it in, break it in, break it in. We're gonna break it down every time we do a great, 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 great day. Break it in, let's go, come on, let's go. 99 on me, 99 on three. One, two, three. 99. Yes, sir. Do it. Like you guys. <laughs> this is licking, eh? Well, Julia is actually, don't tell my mom this, but it's actually one of the best <laughs> when it comes to cooking meat. We eat a lot of red meat, so we'll probably eat red meat about five times a week at least or so. So. Do you want, do you want me to help you with the rice? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, Where is the rice coming from? It's there. So. We have a story with the rice. My mom, <laughs> my mom is, is, is very, very good making rice. Uh, I mean, people would say it's very simple to make rice, but for some reason my mom, is just, her rice is very, very good, right on the point. Julia is very competitive. And uh, when I told her that, she wanted to make the rice the way that my mom was doing it. How many times did you try? Okay, here, here's what happened. Ah. <laughs> pot or pan that I was making the rice in, that it, like the, the cover wouldn't cover properly, so it would never like cook. Oh, equipment was like the issue. Exactly, I learned from the best. You're, you're I, like a rice cutter exactly. now, making excuses. <laughs> so we finally bought a rice cooker and now we're past that, we're good. I would say that this, this is starting of the season is uh, you know what I felt? I remember my first season in the Xfinity Series back in 2015. I was like a kid on Christmas. I haven't had that in a while. It really, really sucked to go to a racetrack knowing that they want to kick my butt. And, uh, and I am not like that. I'm extremely competitive. It doesn't matter what it is. 
And Julia really helped me to keep my head straight. 2020 challenged you and, and molded you as a driver. You know, Justin wanted a proven winner, which Daniel is, and wanted someone that's hungry, which when, when you asked me w what's different about Daniel since he got to track house, I mean, he's hungrier than ever, you know, uh, after last season and I'm a little biased, but I think Justin made a great decision. <laughs> Honestly, last year in the racetrack, when it comes to competition, I didn't learn anything. But when it comes to myself, it's probably the year that I have learned the most about myself. And, and Julia was a huge part of that. Her support in the racetrack is, is, is nothing but to none. Am I going say, say that right? Nothing to none? Ne next to none? Next to none, right? Ne Second, Second, Second to, to none. none. It was close. <laughs> We're gringos, it's okay. <laughs> we are preparing to go to Daytona and unload a race car capable of winning the race. I just keep going back to, you know, the Daytona 500, the 2021 Daytona 500 is, is the first step of a thousand mile journey for Trackhouse. So no matter how that race goes for us, nothing's gonna change on Monday when we get back to the shop. I'm excited about going to Daytona. I'm excited about debuting this race team. But when a green flag falls, it's work and it's us executing as a race team and trying to have the best day possible, knowing that you can end up in victory lane or you could be throwing a car in the dumpster at the end of the day. But that's what we all sign up for, that's racing. I'm not used to being on this side. By the t next time we come back down here, we'll be on the front side. How's that? Brooks, you want to help get the car? Hey, Griffin, just watch that roof. What's up, buddy? Doing all right? Good to see you. Hey, Clay, we can roll as soon as we're ready. We can jump all these guys. What's the odds of making practice? It'd be close. So it's almost like it needs to go in right there? Yep. I think those things fit differently than ours. I do, they do, I swear. Well, they don't push on it. Yeah. We try to make it fit. They try not to make it fit. Okay. Making me nervous walking up on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should be good. This is our last station, and we'll go back and scale it and be ready to go. Got to work on something that's 20,000 is too much, but fits pretty good. You need to finish one of these things. I know. <laughs> well, we picked a good time to do it. How's that? We'll be all right. Yeah, let's back it up and run it. OK. We are ready to bring you NASCAR Cup Series practice from Daytona. How about this, Daniel Suarez? I fly. New race team. In practice, the first lap was like, it's not just Trackhouse's first lap on the racetrack. It, it was symbolic of just so much work and so much effort that pe so many people have put in over the past you know, two years to finally have arrived. It symbolizes a great achievement, but it also symbolizes the first day of years of hard work ahead of us, too. Practice, guys. Check everything over really well. Get it ready to race. Qualify. Happy. There is a way that you can make the, the stain a little bit a, a little bit slower. We could change to a 14 to 1 box. Probably the easiest thing to do. Billy's Billy's talking. He's saying that you ran a 14 to 1 there with the same steering ratio, so it'll be fine. Who is that? Billy Scott. Yeah, he's on the intercom as well. Yeah. So we can't talk bad about him. <laughs> We'll be good, man. I think our lap times are pretty decent. Yeah? Yeah. The 48 got a clean lap, the 24 got real good clean laps, and we're right there with them. You know that's the pole. Good job, man. Yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. Thanks, bud. We'll just get, get in tech and get through the day. We'll have a good race. Welcome to Daytona International Speedway, where the night lights are ablaze for Daytona 500 pole position qualifying. Tonight, we will learn who will start on the front row for Sunday's Great American Race. Qualifying in the dark. They'll look good. <laughs> yeah. As long as you can see where you're going. I don't know how long we Huh? How 
don't have a problem with it. It looked good sparking. <laughs> it's good, right? It's going yeah. 70. They're going to give us five minutes before we go. Power outage. Got a copy? Yep, the Air Force. Hey, Travis, do you know exactly when are they going to send me out? When this car hits the uh, restart zone, okay. I will fire your 99 car. Okay. When Kaz hits the black on the wall, okay. I will send your car. Okay. And Daniel Suarez, former Xfinity Series champion, now with the new Trackhouse Racing team. Travis Mack, the crew chief. I got to get Jeff in one of them I flies. We talked about it last <laughs> night in that bush clash. You're getting in, and I'm running the fan, Jeff. I am running the fan. We got, how about the sparks off the left front? Couples jump, Split you and out. Mike. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm excited for this team this year. Trackhouse, Justin Marks, and Pitbull's a part owner in this race team, too. I, just, I, I love what they're doing, bringing some entertainment to NASCAR. One year ago, thing. Daniel didn't qualify for the Daytona 500. He was an open car. It's a water test there, bud. 33. 47.63 for Suarez. Well, only two tests off last year's pole sitter. Good job. Steering box feel good? Yeah, it was like three inches to the right. Are you, are you already clocked? Right. Okay. Did you feel anything hit that time? Not too hard. I was expecting more. Yeah. Look good. Okay. 47 came through here sparking, so they were a little more aggressive than we were. Good job, man. Proud of you. Yeah. Let me go through the All right, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. I got to pick pits tonight. You can just put me one end or the other. I, I really like that. Don't like the middle. I don't like the middle. I try to. Okay. Two. That's good to know. Yeah. I'll try to get down there the best I can. I'm um, very, very happy with the, with the 99 iFly. It was, it was very, very comfortable, very, very happy with the speed of the race car. Uh, but overall, I'm just very proud of my team, you know, how, how hard they've been working in the off season to, to, to bring a fast race car, which they did exactly that. So I'm very, very proud of that. I feel like we have a very good pit for tomorrow and we have to keep having fun. Ah, loco. What are you watching? Between Jay Seller and Hi, Love you. Love you. Welcome to Daytona. Hi, everybody. What does it mean for Sunday to win the duel on Thursday? Good luck, Good luck buddy. Kick some ass. Thank you, man. You yep. too. Okay. Yep. Everything good over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you like it? Yeah, it's yeah. good. I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you, man. For yeah. Sure. This duel, it's important. You got to know what your car's going to do. You need to know what your competitors are going to do. This is a great way to, to, to get some experience and laps before Sunday. Are you able to learn anything in practice that feels like you guys are going to be able to, to move forward a little bit? Not really, not yet, because uh, practice was everything about single car runs. I feel like the real practice is going on right now. It's got to be all of those things that we've talked about. Make sure that one number one bullet in the chamber is going to be there to line up on Sunday. Do not tear this car up. <laughs> Test one, two. Yeah, that was a little better. I'm not going to take any chances uh, to get us in anything right away, but, uh, but I'll call it tight for you. You know what I tell you, you can trust. Do you know what I like? 150 miles to set the lineup for the 500, and we are underway. Three wide for the lead. And now on the outside lane, advancing to the lead. Well, that's Daniel Suarez. Suarez takes it high to the outside and makes short work of it. Powers around the extreme outside lane. Move Daniel Suarez and track house racing to the top. Clear, all clear. The leader of the 99. The Chevrolet has come to pit road, completing the cycle here. Three, two, one, you only. Hold, hold, go, 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 go. Outside, all red. Clear to the grass, clear to the grass. 
Get this figured out. Got to get sorted out. Get in line quick. Get up through the gearbox. Oh, and these fours are going to go smoking right on by. See ya. Daniel Suarez had a move. By himself, no help. Well, this could be a great move. If you side drive going in the corner, take that shorter route and then jump up in front of Jamie McMurray. I like that he practiced that right there, though, because that's what Danny always practiced, and he wins his 500, so that's what we need to know. White flag waving over the field. Duel number one with one to go. Side draft coming from Eric Almarola. Try to yep. stall him. There it goes. Coming to the checkered. Still outside. Five still with you. And it's Almarola coming Bell. to the line. They are three abreast. It's Almarola over Christopher Bell and Ryan Newman. I got out right at 22 and 36. I got to get out of it. Good job, huh? Good job, P8. Nice job, everybody. Good job, Steve. Good job, Daniel. We'll get better for you on Sunday, buddy. And just know you're dealing with um, a true partner who appreciates hard work, sacrifice. We're in a position to take this to a whole nother level where we can utilize racing to bring people together. Nothing about this is transactional. This is, this is passion. He's going to be supporting us and out in front of us, and he is committed to this project from, from day one. So from track house to you, we just got you, all, got you a little something. to build a real team here. I mean, everybody tries to do that, but, but Trackhouse is one car, and it's a small group of people that believe in, in a vision, and it's important to do these things. It's important for everybody to feel like they're a part of a family, because it's worth something on the hard days. You know, I mean, it's not, it's not you don't want to focus on, on the good days. You want to be able to overcome and persevere and transcend those, those tough moments. Meeting each other, learning each other's stories really helps build a foundation for us to be able to do that. Daniel. Where's Daniel? Daniel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'm going to hold this one to after the race tomorrow. <laughs> it's a true honor to be here at Daytona 500. Such an amazing opportunity to be a part of Track House and the way that we're literally making history. If there's anything I love to be involved with, it's something, like we say, from the root to the fruit. So therefore, NASCAR appreciate the love, Track House appreciate the love, Daniel Suarez about to make history, so get ready. If you think it's a game, play with it. It's that little Chico Pit Boom, Mr. 305. Better say Mr. Worldwide. Checking in, checking out. You know what it is. Dolly. Ha! Got him. Thank you. <laughs> Boom! Love it. Hey, you guys have a great day, man. from Daytona International Speedway, the 63rd running of the Daytona 500. We're ready for rush hour at Daytona at nearly 200 miles per hour. You got Grand Marshal coming through yep. here. You guys need anything? You all good? I think all great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm tripping it on the track with Pitbull. <laughs> Wait a lot till my mom. <laughs> Taking a lap. Can you imagine these boys coming around here? If they come on like a 200 mile per hour. It takes so much concentration to be able to win the Daytona 500. Difficult, difficult task. One of the toughest races there is to win. Yeah, I'm excited. I think we be patient, man. Yeah, especially on this bottom here. We got a lot of Chevys in front of us. So this roll, this roll in the bottom is going to go pretty good. We thank you for it. Good. Test one, two. Test one, two. Now, let's see you, buddy. 
Drivers, start your engines. Let's go. Yeah! All right, the building says start your engines. Really, really appreciate all the hard work, the commitment everyone's made to Track House. It's a dream come true for me. We have a big opportunity here, not just today, but in all of our future. So let's have some fun, get we can get out of it. But I really appreciate all of you, and all your hard work. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, everyone, for making this possible. I've got a great opportunity here, the best opportunity I've ever had, and I'm hungry. Let's do it. Green flag, the 63rd Daytona 500 is underway. So about a quarter out front, they'll half out front. Lap number three of the Daytona 500 in memory of Dale Earnhardt. So a quarter, eight out back real tight to you. Always a debate here early in this race. Do you want to take those risks? 500 miles, you got a long way to go. Not going to jam you in the middle this early in the race. Half out front, quarter out front. Still two, nothing out front. Second down, second down. Oh, trouble back straight away. Eric Amarola gets turned. They're sliding through the grass, mud, flying everywhere. A massive crash off the end of the back straightaway that probably has almost half this field collected. Anytime that happens up front, you're going to take out a lot of them. Can we make it there? No. Believe it, man. You down, bud? Can it roll? No, I'm not sorry, but for some reason, doesn't want to fire up. He's rolling again. He's coming. Guys, get everything ready. Jack up the right, change the tires. Let's look at the damage. Come on, believe it. I went to you anyway. It's leaking, old one. Yeah, we're done. All right, amigo, keep your head up. That's what it's all about. We get to come back and do it again next week. They all pay the same. They all pay the same point. I'm sorry, man. A short day for Daniel Suarez, the 99 getting caught up in this 16 car jam session. What's up, amigo? Hey, amigo, how you doing, bud? So this is what is left, eh? Yeah, this is what's left ever. You killed it. Well, yeah. actually, I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't your fault, man. When when the wreck was happening on the right, kind of like turn left to yeah. avoid the mess, and the six actually the six actually kind of wrecked because of me because I moved <laughs> left, and then I kind of like went through. Yeah. But that one in the left rear, I can really I can really remember how that one happened. That looks about the width of a car. Yeah. I kept asking Steve where we were, and he couldn't find you. I feel like if it wasn't for the garage, we were going to continue easy. I agree. The, the right side of the car is 100% clean. Yep. Other than the, the hole. Yeah, we could have hammered this side out and kept digging. But once they knocked that radiator and oil cooler out, we were done. Jose's got the simulator ready for you. OK. So uh, we'll run some laps there. Got some different ratios and stuff we're going to try. OK. Sounds See good. what we could do there. So he's ready for us? He's ready for us, man. You know something about me? And you can ask my girlfriend this, I cannot do two things at the same time. <laughs> so, so, either I talk or I drive. Hey, Jose, is, yeah. this, is this our setup? Yeah, it's our setup. It's our much, setup. How much grip? Uh, 89. No way. No, this is not. That's what they told me. Yeah, I can double check it for Just you. Just double check because it, it doesn't feel like ours. The back, the back of the car moves quite a bit. Grip fills up a little. It feels it feels very different. I mean, if it is, it is. But <laughs> that's pretty good. You could feel that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm feels like you have really old tires. You feel, on my opinion, yeah. It was old tires, and it wasn't my setup. We we can. Uh... <laughs> well, the simulator is very interesting. He could just put in hundreds of laps before we even get there. You know, and be able to get on that simulator time every single week and have that verbal communication between myself and the driver and the engineers. Without having practice, this is what we need to do to have better races. Let me see if it feels more realistic now. Completely different. 
Oof. Now, it's, now it has too much grip. <laughs> I was gonna tell you, Jose, what do you do to my car? What about the brakes? What do you think? Looks good. Now it feels like my car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me go back. Just double check it to put it to the grip levels you're used to. Is that all I need to do at the track? That's First it, stop, just come and re re reset. <laughs> reset everything. <laughs> An absolutely beautiful Daytona Beach Sunday afternoon. NASCAR Cup Series on Daytona Road Course. I'm excited to see what they're going to do, how this race is going to turn out. No practice, no qualify, but they did get the run to Bush Clash last week, and so they got a little practice in the understanding this track. Some people had some laps in the Clash. I haven't. I haven't been here yet this year with this team. If the simulator that we've been testing every week is close, we're going to be pretty damn good. Everything feeling good? Get there, amigo. Good, yeah, buddy. Everything is perfect here. Let's have a good race today, bud. Hi, oh, buddy. Have some fun. Uh, I love roller coaster racing. Uh, the team has been spot on on everything they've been doing. And uh, we're going to start from the back with Fortnite because of the wreck. You know, that is going to make it even more interesting. All right, go ahead, fire it up. Green flag in the air, and we're underway in Daytona. Kyle Busch in trouble. 12 one up. Clear, all clear. Nice job. Corner, clear, clear. His strong point seems to be getting up off these corners. Looks like he's being nice and cautious. He's doing a good job. Even W and FRD is catching a bunch of them. Coming to the end of the stage here. Green and white checkers in the air. Chase Elliott wins stage one. Cautions out, cautions out. Love the job, man. Keep it up. Green flag goes back in the air. Everybody's rolling. Looking right, right side, right side. Clear, clear. Good job. Cushions out. More likely going to stay out here, but I feel like we got a lot better long run car. Yeah, me too, but uh, it's going to be hard to, to raise this guy. These guys are going to be on my ass. All right, bud. Here's the deal. We will be 27 if we pit it. Everybody still has to pit one more time. I feel like we're going for a better finish than what we're doing. We're good, bud. I do my thing here, and you do your thing over there. First official lap, Team Trackhouse has, uh, has led here. 33 laps to go, amigo. Here they come back to the line, and the flag is out. We're racing again. Daniel Suarez gets a good jump. Here come the guys on fresher tires. One looking right, right side, right side. Maintain it here, bud. Keep digging right now. Doing a hell of a job. Wow, oh, look at this. That's big. Tyler Reddick machine has gone up in flames. Gonna bring out the caution here. Just like last week, whatever you do, do not get in the grass. No matter what you gotta hit on the left side, don't get in the grass. 10 laps to go. Here comes Logano and company up to the gearbox. Clear left. Checking up, checking up. Oh, 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 oh no. Get through them, just drive around them. I, mean, I can't see it, it's in smoke. Ain't much we can do about that. Good job. Get all we can here. Oh, big time. This happened to happen right in front of us. You had to go all the way around the outside. Man, we lost like 15 positions. Still beating the banging up front, man. Just keep after it here. Still car on the left here. Right by him. Car on the left there. That white car on the left. He goes on his windshield. All clear. Patrick, Steve, get top 15 of it. Still, buddy, coming to two to go. C16. Christopher Bell scores his first career win, and it comes on the Daytona Road Course. Your flag right here. Way to fight all day, amigo. Good bud. P16. Oh, little issue here in the last 15 rounds. I like my security. Prepare with some flat openers, you know. Nice to go buddy. Way to keep your head up. We're never losing. We're only learning. Remember that. It was at one point I was. Oh my I think, God! In your helmet? The whole helmet is full. After I threw up, I was fine. But I was had a mess, but I was fine. And you started feeling sick. How much time before you threw up? Probably thirty minutes. 
So you were 30 minutes like yeah. feeling in the car? Yeah. I got news for you. What? We gotta wake up at like 5 30. You're speaking French? Why are you saying we? We. Can go in a taxi. I need a driver. No, I, I cannot have surgery unless you're present. Emma! Emma! Hi! This is terrible. Ugh. How's it going? Terrible. And that's already been cleaned several times. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you get it or not, Dylan? <laughs> no. You're well, Daniel, up. you You're need up. to clean this. <laughs> Here, just, I got gloves for you. Just throw it away, we'll get another one. Here, here's some gloves. <laughs> <laughs> just burn it. Okay, Dylan, I have I'm, to go to work. <laughs> Yeah. I'm never eating chicken and rice again. No, never. <laughs> I'm never having tacos. Have a nice day. <laughs> Powerade, nothing. Oh, man. Oh. Looking forward to Homestead. Yeah, me too. Make sure you're comfortable this week. and You can hydrate and do your things you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to change a little bit. <laughs> as, as you know, last week it didn't work out very well. <laughs> it was horrible. The lap and a half that was actually oh. puking, man. That, that... <laughs> if we had that on camera footage, we'd have to delete it. Oh, I, I, I will have NASCAR to do this. When you told me you needed water, I didn't know what had happened. I was like, well, maybe he's just hot. He's tired from pushing the brake. And then you got out, and you had red Powerade all Julia over Julia didn't know what's going on. When I went to the motor home. Well, let us know if we could do anything there for you. Well, for now, to clean up that mess. Yeah. <laughs> I think I owe him I owe him a good dinner. <laughs> yeah, maybe a steak. Yeah. <laughs> Need to hire, like, a biohazard crew to come clean out this car. This car is beautiful, eh? It is a very good looking car. I love the blue and the yellow. Yeah, I like it too. Man, it looks good. To get the phone call from Marcus Limonis and Camping World and everybody there uh, just last week saying they want to be a part of what we're doing is, is uh, I mean, it's an amazing thing. It's proof of concept. And, you know, we're, we're in a really, really great spot now. And I think as we continue to race and we continue to kind of roll out some of our community initiatives and Daniel's popularity gains ground and Armando comes and does his stuff, I think more and more people are going to see what we're doing and see that it's unique. I, I'm a huge believer that we're living in a time and in a place right now where every company, every enterprise in America needs to be doing something for the greater good. And that starts at multi-billion dollar publicly traded companies or mom and pop you know, sandwich shop on the corner and everything in between. Just because we're a race team and we're a unique business and we do things a little bit differently doesn't excuse us of that responsibility. And so the community outreach, the community element uh, is hugely important to the DNA of Trackhouse. And I think Camping World recognize that pretty quickly and you know they want to be a part of what we're doing. So it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to have them down here in Homestead for their debut race with us. Pretty cool. Homestead Miami Speedway plays host to the third race of this NASCAR Cup season. And what a topsy-turvy start we have had with two first-time winners in the first two races. Today is very exciting uh, for many different reasons. You know, it's the, it's the first mile and a half of the year, which is something very important for every team, but especially for us as a new group. We know that if we can race well in mile and a half, most likely we're gonna have a successful season. It's important to perform well here, to know where we are, what we need to do better, and keep getting better. I feel like this team is very young and it, it will only continue to get better. The car looks sweet, too. I can't wait to go. We want to jump in a car and go. <laughs> there was only 15 cars on the lead lap last year. I know, I don't know. I that. But you know, most of those guys that were off the lead lap all made mistakes. Whether hitting the wall and having to pit or mistake on pit roads, you know, a lot of mistakes. The guys who just had clean races all finished off the team. Yeah, Tim Farr, you're loud and clear. All right, go ahead and fire it up. Come on, boys. We got some fun. We're going to have a fast race car right here. So just be patient. It's going to be a long race. Have fun. We'll be good here. 
10 for Amigo. Kevin yeah, World Chevrolet looks really good. And the Dixie Vodka 400 is underway. Check up, little check up, check up. Nice job. They're playing bumper cars back deep in the field. Daniel Suarez getting stuck in the middle. I know that sucks, but you missed it. Hit him. Good job. Part is the nose. Left front tore up pretty good. The monkey just slipped out as soon as I get out of the gas. All right, bud. We got a plan. We're going to tighten you up. Next fight, he's going to jump over, patch it up. A good time. Let's do it right. Let's do it once. Do you need me to come back? We feel really good about it. Green flag, green flag. Working on it, amigo. One and two, man. You're as good as anybody. We'll get three and four picks up for you. Caution's out. Five away, round the 47. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Good job, guys. Came in, P24 went out 19. What a boy. That's probably the fastest pistol I have had in like two years. <laughs> Good job, boys. Get that sun out, get a little wear on these tires, man. You'll be better than a lot of these guys ahead of you. Keep going, keep going. Couple more, couple more. After green flag pit stops, Daniel Suarez, who was leading when he pitted, currently 24. Quicker than the next 10 cars in front of you. Keep after a bud. Doing a hell of a job. The back of the car is loose, but the front is not turning. Just probably the worst we've been. The left front tape is starting to come a little loose. We're second to last car on the lead left. So we're going to fix the tape, pull Packer. Right now is the perfect chance to pull it. 100 left to go. The back of the car is pretty loose. I can go drifting center exit of the corner if I want to. We're gonna make a right rear air pressure adjustment. We'll pit for four tires of fuel. You're doing a good job, man. Have fun up here racing with these guys. That's what you're here for. Have fun, buddy. Keep walking on this thing. We'll be fine here. 60 laps to go. Coming to the green here. Keep it up, man. Amigo, this is when the tires come to us and down the next three. Few of these guys are gonna fail. We're gonna go the whole way, man. You're gonna be the best here. This is when I remember your toughness from last year. Dig in tight here. We got a three or four up there we can get to. Hats off to, to Daniel Suarez and this race team. This is a great run for these guys. I mean, this is a tough, tough racetrack. Way to fight, amigo. 15th. Good job, everybody. Solid, solid day. Thank you, guys. Also keep working, keep building. We're already in the fight. Overall, I'm just very proud of this group. I, I feel like we have a lot of potential for to do great things. This is this is a brand new team, a brand new everything. Uh, we're just we're, we're just getting started. I mean, these guys they don't even know me yet. You know, overall, uh, positive day. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Everybody. Do you want to, to do this the proper way and you navigate? Should we go left or right? Uh, hang on. So the kids are coming out in waves, you know, because there's so yeah, many. Yeah, so they're yeah. coming out kind of like one class at a time. Travis gave me the green light to do a, a little burnout. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you would. Uh, what do you think, man? Well, I mean, what, what is your perspective of the race? I think, I think. We're off to a fine start. I mean, I've been telling people that, you know, my my goals and my expectations for this team right now are not in finishing positions. It's in the process. The fact that we're running where we're running and that you've got a lot of speed uh, is, I mean, it's like I told you last night, we're, we're building a, like a wonderful foundation. Like this yeah. is a great place to build from, top 15 yeah. finishes right off the bat. How do you say we are here? Ya llegamos. Huh? Ya llegamos. Ya. We are here. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Hi guys. Are you going down to see the car? So this is the driver. Huh? You were there yesterday? That's really? awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so he was driving. <laughs> 
a lot of our programs are career focused, but it's the industry behind the sports. Okay. So that was the vision here, you know, taking something that you love, like anything in sports, and showing kids you can have all these careers. So we followed the proposal to be a school to have the first XM radio station run by students. It's, it's an area where our students will be the first to tell you that they feel most comfortable in the entire school. Uh, hello, my name is Araya Lopez. So during a race, is there ever a moment where you get like scared or do, like, does the adrenaline like take over? When you do what you love to do, when you find that, you're never scared. You're, you're always enjoying the moment. What did you think? I asked you to judge them. What did you think? Thank you guys, you guys are pros. Very proud of you guys. They did a very you guys good have job, questions eh? Questions for him about racing, about anything. He's about the car, how fast it's going. Races with NASCAR. Um, how do you fit in it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a skinny. <laughs> no, but you know the the city is actually is is it's pretty much made for me. You know we, we race every weekend for three hours and a half, four hours. Uh, so we have to make sure that that's a hundred percent comfortable. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Good. good. Welcome good. to the school. Hello. Thank you. How are you? Great. You guys want to go down to the car and, and then do something down there? Check out the yeah. car? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to come down with the helmet. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>so many of these kids just don't don't know that NASCAR racing is a thing and when they see the car and when they hear the car fire up you have their attention that, that's the moment where you can really educate and you can expose them to to this world that we live in and, and show them where there's opportunity for them it's created this this network of uh, of slam schools truly truly impressive and you can see this how excited the kids are and uh, how they're responding to the, the teachers here, it's just, it's remarkable. You know, this is just another element of what this incredible organization is doing for these kids, and it's, it's an honor to be here and show it to them. This whole thing is a dream come true for me. I mean, I, I like, I grew up idolizing these teams and these drivers, and, and I, I just, very strongly, very passionately wanted to be somebody in this sport. And I wanted to build something with a lasting legacy in this sport. And I tried to do it driving race cars for a number of years, but I think this is where I'm gonna leave my mark and this is where I can really utilize my talent, my desire and passion is on this side of it. So I'm just like the luckiest guy in the world to be able to be here and do it. And, and if we're providing opportunities for people, providing opportunities for the community, what more could you want? I've spent a long time in my life looking out for myself and I think at some point a man has to look in the mirror and ask himself what he's doing for everybody else.